Well, it's that time to uh, make some awesome Sujin Supreme Stuffed Strawberries. Now here I, in Germany we have this awesome Philadelphia cream cheese made with milk and chocolate. At home you can make it too. And uh, if you're really lazy, just fly on over and I'll make them for you. I mean, heck, you're flying all the way to Germany, I gotta make them for you, right? But for those that can't make it, I'll teach you how. Super easy, are you ready? Let's get started. We're gonna core out the bottom of a strawberry. Take them out, the core of the bottom of a strawberry. Now, I skipped ahead and did that, so that way we can get right to the good stuff. Now, if you don't have this awesome Philadelphia cream cheese chocolate strawberry, oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you have no idea how good this is. You can just truly eat the tub. It's like, oh, okay. Just take eight ounces of Philadelphia's regular cream cheese and melt in four ounces of your favorite chocolate. It could be milk of chocolate. It could be dark chocolate. Mix it up. Make sure it's soft so we can squeeze it into the strawberries. And then we're going to use, I have four ounces of semi-sweet German chocolate melted and I have right now six ounces, well I have three ounces already melted of the white chocolate. I have just a tip on a bag here and you just fill it up and take it, you're going to cover with chocolate. You do that until your plate's full. I'm not sure how many this will fill, but we're just gonna, you know, pick up there. Then at the very end, we're gonna do some uh, white chocolate ones. You can differ each one. For those people that, you know, think, oh, it's too chocolatey, which to me personally, there's never, ever enough chocolate. Do white chocolate. And no one will know that your strawberries are stuffed and they're going to bite in it and come up with a big surprise. Delicious surprise, mind you. But you want to make sure that your strawberries have a good tip on them. And you want to, you don't need to do massively hollow. You don't have to have anything fancy dancy. I'm just using a spoon and some bowls. That's what it's about. My serving plate that will fit in my freezer here um, only holds 13. So for the show, we're having 13, which is just horrible because I have no clue what I'm going to do while those are, you know, put them in the freezer for about five minutes let the chocolate get hard. Mm. And you can just eat what's left over. Well, well these ones are freezing. Um, I, I have no clue what I'll do with the extras. Two and 15 minutes. I mean, five minutes. <laughs> it's very late here. <laughs> We're women with chocolate and strawberries. And man, is this stuff so good. I can't wait to have it with white chocolate. See you in five minutes. Just warning everyone, the hardest part about making Sujin Supreme stuffed strawberries is the waiting. This five minutes is just like, you know, when you're little and you have the time before Christmas. And when we started, it was bright out when I first started filming today. It is now dark. But it's a lot cooler in here, so as soon as the strawberries are ready, it's just like time is just like tick. Like when you're in school and the clock hand goes forward and then back three spaces. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the strawberries. See a little bit. Ladies, I have more torture. You know my motto, when you burn, you learn. Okay, well when you freeze your strawberries and you don't spray your plate, they don't come off. So um, I have more waiting. And so I'm going to take my blow dryer and heat the bottom of my dish slowly. Mm -hmm. So that I could have a strawberry and go to bed. 
Blow dryers are awesome. So this is Sujin's style your strawberries. Now see? Alrighty. Oh my god. So worth the blow drying. And the five minutes of torture. Mm. So if you'd like to stick your strawberries to your plate, just remember the blow dryer. Well, for my house in Germany, I promise if you come over and you want to try these, I won't stick up to the plate. <laughs> well, Hey, like I was saying, when you burn, you learn. It's okay to make mistakes, because you can hysterically laugh at yourself later. And a very important note, don't make videos when you're tired. Bye.